So tonight, two families are preparing to lay their loved ones to rest after a rescue helicopter crashed last week, killing a BSO fire captain and a woman who was sleeping. And Local 10's Terrell Fournay live now in Sunrise with their funeral plans, including a change of heart. Terrell. Yeah, more on that in a moment. But first, we know that two separate services for these victims of this chopper crash will certainly take place later in the week. But the very first one will happen here at this church in Sunrise. Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Captain Terry St. Jackson is being laid to rest with full honors following his on-duty death last week. The 50-year-old was part of a helicopter crew flying to an emergency when the chopper suffered a fire and crashed into an apartment building below in Pompano Beach. Two other crew members survived, but Captain Jackson was trapped and died. A public memorial is being set for Friday morning at 10 a.m. at the Faith Center in Sunrise. A procession will precede the service. I never imagined nothing like this happening. The family of Lorene Wheaton is also preparing to lay their loved one to rest. The 65-year-old was asleep in her own bed when the helicopter barreled through her ceiling on the morning of that fateful day. Relatives were initially under the impression they had to pay for Wheaton's funeral expenses, so they set up a GoFundMe page to do that and to help pay for the remains to be transferred back to her native South Carolina. I still want her to have a burial in a grave in spite of how... Uh, the remains are. Mm -hmm. But this week, the Broward Sheriff's Office made a move to foot the bill for services. We're told a family attorney initially declined the offer of payment or reimbursement, but in the end decided to accept the reimbursement gesture. Wheaton's funeral is now fully paid and will take place this Saturday at 1 p.m. at a church in Anderson, South Carolina. And as for Broward Sheriff, Fire Rescue Captain and Battalion Chief Terrison Jackson. His memorial is open to the public, but you can expect heavy traffic, especially during that procession from the funeral home in Pompano Beach to the Faith Center here in Sunrise. We are live in Sunrise tonight. Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.